On October 1, as Donald turns his yard into yet another hole-filled wonder, he finds a remarkable emerald green, amber, and blue-violet colored glass vial. He has found varying sizes of rough and smooth rock-like construction debris along with a European praying mantis, several ladybugs, burrowing beetles, and a snail's shell just below the sod's surface during previous adventures. This discovery is different. He excitedly tries to open the deceptively smooth-looking metal top and slits his hand and screams in pain. Blood streams from the cut in Donald's palm and covers his treasure. Emily, Donald's mother, hears his scream and immediately realizes that his bellow is urgent. It sounds different from the guttural and throaty scream Donald has made in the past when he clumsily fell or stubbed his toe. This higher pitch yelp is not the almost barking-like sound he has made in times past when he clumsily hit his knees or elbows. Those quick outbursts were followed by a slight and embarrassing laugh. This full-throated howl resembled the sound Donald made when he learned, on his own, not to touch an amber-colored surface range element. Emily drops her 8-inch chef's knife into the kitchen sink and rushes to help him.